Alright, so what is up boys and girls, Vamayabra here with a new video for you and today we are actually gonna swerve off to another kind of video topic. Today we are gonna try, um, we're gonna make a video, we're gonna try and make a video on like on my top 5 tips on how to play uh, Dead Cells, how to get better at Dead Cells actually. I have been playing this game for a while but I don't think I have finished it uh, but I have reached up until the hand of the king maybe I'm good enough to just give you guys just my top five tips on how to work if you guys saw my Facebook group post or my Twitter post link will be in the description I I said there that my PS4 controller broke the making of this video would be a little bit late but one of my cl very close friends actually offered they saw the tweet the post they offered to let me borrow one of their Xbox controllers just to uh, so I can continue my thing so if you're watching the video dude shout out to you bro and you guys should go thank him all right so anyway so here are the top five tips on how to get better dead cells so you see one of them is be patient act fast now what does that mean let me show you in a second so there you go see be patient wait for the exclamation point and act fast dodge dodge all right bam just like that each enemy will almost always have an uh, exclamation point wherein you can dodge what you can do is you can learn these patterns once you master the timing once you master when the exclamation point appears you can time your dodge just well enough so you don't get hit okay speed is king in this game speed is king in relation to the first step if you panic you will lose the game is based on speed so if you panic and your mind is cloud and your mind is clouded your decision making is clouded on when to dodge and you just crazy roll dodge just like in dark souls when you're panicking you will die you will die in this game over and over again another thing is another thing with be patient is that when you're starting out with the game you're not going to be really good at it you're, you're going to suck uh, no matter no matter how many games of this style that you've played you are going to suck at this game at the first time don't just expect yourself to be good after around five or ten runs because all that's gonna get you is frustration and you might actually even uh, rage quit you might actually not even try and complete the game so now that you understand that we can move on to tip number two tip number two is try to learn all enemy move sets so as you can see there are different enemies here so this guy does a jump and also has a claw attack and this guy throws a bomb so all you, all you gotta do is you want to learn all of their movesets uh, how they attack and all that so see this guy just throws a bomb and all you can do is just get to dodge towards him and hit him it gets a little bit trickier because see uh, he does a shield dash and if you hit him while facing the shield you get stunned uh, each map has their own set of mobs and each mob has their own set of attacks Now you I have to play the game over and over again It's really it's related to tip number one because you have to get, play the game over and over again Encounter these guys over and over again so you get to experience their move sets and until it becomes uh, it, Until you memorize their move sets, you know when to dodge you know when to perfectly dodge and when you can punish their attacks so, so just for another example, I've moved to the Toxic Sewers map. So let me just, just clear these guys out. So there you go. Okay, so that guy has a spitting attack, but if you're close to him, he does a he does a stinger attack. So each one has their own timing. Uh, each move has their own timing. Each move has their own exclamation point that give off uh, when they can be punished. And actually, when you should punish them, actually. See, so as you can see there, I've already memorized how the attacks go, so I know when to dodge and punish them accordingly. But these are just uh, the simple ones. That's why they're very easy to memorize. So these ones, you're not going to have that much problem with it. Probably around three playthroughs, uh, four good playthroughs. Uh, you'll uh, get used to it, and no problem. Things start to get harder when uh, you switch to the later maps where where the enemies don't just have one attack. Where their whole attack sequence are like three swings or five swings even or they uh, they pull a chain at you. 
and you have to dodge it. And if you, but if you get hit by the chain, it's impossible to it's impossible to dodge the next hit. Run it over and over again. Memorize moves. Yes, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay to die. Ow. Try and be familiar with how movement in the game works. So tip number three is try and learn every weapon combo. So right here, uh, it's not exactly a weapon combo because I don't have any additional perks on them. But as you can see, I have a slow attacking, I have a slow attack speed greatsword right here. So it's very, in a game of speed like this, that's very disadvantageous, especially with bosses. But as you can see, I have another weapon here, a bow, a long ranged bow that allows me to freeze my enemies before moving in for the kill. That's that's exactly that that's an example of a basic combo right there. I use the frost bow to freeze them in place. And then I can freely just move up to them and finish them off with the broadsword. With the slow, very slow broadsword. So in this game you're gonna encounter a lot, and I mean a lot of weapons. A lot of weapons, a lot of weapon combos. So what you wanna do is you wanna experiment with these weapons. You want to check which weapons you're comfortable with. See which ones you like the best, but just make sure you know the move sets of all of the, of all, not if not all, most of the weapons, so that none of them feel kind of new. Because you don't want to be switching to a weapon and then moving on to a hard level and not using and not knowing how to use that particular weapon. Damn it, I died, I died, I died, I died while talking about the next tip, damn it. But anyway, so tip, tip number four actually synergizes with tip number three, wherein it's uh, you know how to use your items effectively. So besides your weapon, you also have items, as you can see with the left, left LT and right, these two buttons right here, they trigger weapon, uh, they trigger items that you, trigger items like traps or turrets that you can use in the game. You should learn how to uh, effectively combo these items with your weapons especially just like just like here. I'll show you. So here's a nice grenade. So there it's been started to my right the right trigger here. And I can throw it. Now what I specifically got was a frost grenade so when I throw it uh, it creates a frost effect. Just like the bow we had earlier. So from there, you already know what the frost the, the frost effect does. See, it freezes enemies. Lets you do whatever you want with them while they're frozen, all right? Don't just learn how to use your weapons effectively. Learn also how the items work. Learn how each weapon and item works and learn how you can combo these with each other. So that's, so that's tip number three and four. Yeah, so my last tip is actually, I already actually, turns out, I look at my list and turns out I already said it in the first part my last tip would be rinse and repeat <clears throat> as I said rinse and repeat uh, don't be afraid to actually die keep on going keep on going through keep on repeating the process of finding new weapons finding new items trying to figure out new combos for the weapons you know dodging throwing and then hitting or trap them dodge to the back and then hitting them or something like that you know kind of basic combos that you think would work for you you know everybody has their own play style everybody has their own preferred weapon preferred items see how each one of them works how each one of them synergizes well together and which items would be best for these kinds of enemies for other types of enemies and, st and the likes you know and you're not you're not gonna just get those with a few re reruns of this game you're gonna get these through multiple and I mean a lot of reruns of this game you know you're not gonna be good at this game overnight or over a week you'll probably be decent by it if you play it non-stop for a whole week and all that but I mean you you would still you probably still wouldn't have explored everything in the game by then so just to have a recap the recap is be patient and act fast try to learn all enemy move sets try and learn every weapon how every weapon works. Combo your items effectively by items, I mean weapons and your other skill items. And then rinse and repeat. It's kind of like beginner tips, you know, if you haven't played these kinds of games before, if you're new to this genre, you know. 
Anyway, so that's my top five tips to start getting better at dead cells. Again, a big shout out to the, to my close friend who let me borrow this controller. Really big help. I just want to tell you guys that this is the first time I've actually made a top five video, and actually the first time I made a top five of anything. Anyway, uh, if you like this video, please do hit a like and subscribe. I'm sorry if my English was a bit off to the side in this video. I, w I am kind of nervous right now. Thank you guys for watching. Hit the like, subscribe, and share the video if you liked it. Share with your friends. And share the game. The game is really good, and you should try it. If you want to tell me something in the comments below, probably a tip of how you tips on how you guys got better dead cells, <coughs> put it out on the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching. That's going to be the end of this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Alright?